it's time that I bite the hand that feeds me today. That being Mojang, owned by Microsoft, the company that makes Minecraft. Here's what's up. First off, I want to bring attention to some very serious flaws in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, primarily consisting of game-breaking glitches that Mojang have specifically said they will not fix. Second off, I need to talk about a fairly secret version of Minecraft that certain marketplace partners have access to in order to make their creations, wherein I'll be talking about how Mojang have reacted to these versions getting leaked to the public. Spoiler alert, it involves YouTube copyright strikes, which I'm being careful to avoid here. The Minecraft 1.19 update just recently released, and it's the third time in a row that we're not getting features that were previously promised to us. Now, here's some food for thought. Mojang as a company have two primary physical offices, one in Stockholm, Sweden, and another in Redmond, Washington, both of which I've visited. Minecraft Bedrock Edition is largely developed in the Redmond office, as seen from this picture that I took at the Minecraft Creator Summit in 2018, and I believe that Minecraft Java Edition is still largely developed in Stockholm. I've always viewed Mojang Stockholm as being a pretty well-oiled machine, and I've really never viewed Mojang Redmond that way. To be clear, my gripe is not with the Mojang employees who are just doing the best they can for the game they love. They have all of my respect. It's with any and all of the parts of Mojang that have control over these issues, but choose to do nothing about them. Let me ask you this before we get started. The majority of Minecraft's player base play Bedrock Edition, but the majority of creators use Java Edition. Why is that? I have a lot to say today, some of which is not in favor of Mojang, and some of which truthfully is. I'll do my best to remain unbiased. Today's sponsor is a game that can be thoroughly enjoyed on multiple platforms, Genshin Impact. If this game has piqued your interest, then download it for free and see if it's for you. Reveal the mysteries that the Land of Tevat has to offer, level up and upgrade your party with new weapons and artifacts that allow for tons of different combat modifiers, and you're gonna need them in this update. Every character that you unlock controls one of seven different natural elements, and you can hot swap in between your four chosen party members even while you're in combat. There's a lot to explore within Update 2.7, The Hidden Dreams in the Depths, including a new Archon quest that'll have you investigating the mysteries within the chasm, and a new challenge game mode called Realms of Guile and War. Take on waves of enemies within a challenge domain, which will test your ability to build an effective party within the limitations set by the domain. Rewards for this event include an event-exclusive four-star bow called Fading Twilight. Take on the task of cleaning up the chasm with the Muddy Bazaar Adventure event, and then join in on the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. If rhythm games are your sort of thing, be sure to not miss out. Check out Genshin Impact via the link in the description down below, and thanks again to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. So where do we begin? This is the bug reporting website for Minecraft. If you find a glitch that you can replicate that hasn't been reported yet, this is the place to go to report it to Mojang. Listed here are all of Minecraft Bedrock Edition issues that Mojang are aware of, but they've chosen to not fix. Now, I understand that Mojang can't fix absolutely every single issue themselves, so I get why many of these items are here. However, when you sort these bug reports by how many votes the community have given them, right at the top of the list is one that still grinds my gears to this very day. Once you travel 65,536 blocks out, if you're not careful and you move in just the wrong way, you can just straight up fall through the world. Here's another one. Random deaths have plagued Minecraft Bedrock Edition for a long time now. Right around 10 months ago, Reddit user Vuki posted this video about how they just randomly died after entering an end portal. Now, imagine if this were you, and you were playing on hardcore mode, and you suddenly died for no reason. Well, that would suck, and you would be one of the many people that this has happened to. Good thing Bedrock Edition doesn't have hardcore mode yet, which is weird because it's gotten over a thousand comments and 22,000 votes on Mojang's very own feedback website ever since it was added over four years ago. Here's another problem. When Minecraft 1.18 was released, Mojang implemented a feature called chunk blending, which causes any new chunks that you load to blend with old chunks, preventing these sudden land walls from appearing where terrain from different versions meet up. I made a video all about this feature, and I praised it for working so well. Little did I know that Mojang played me like a fool. Yeah, 
chunk blending is broken within Bedrock Edition. Here's how. I've generated a world in Minecraft Java 1.17 and loaded only part of a woodland mansion, which will force any new chunks generated in 1.18 and beyond to blend into this mansion. Then I converted the map to Bedrock 1.17 using Chunker.app, a world conversion tool that's licensed by Mojang, and then I loaded the world in both Java and Bedrock 1.18 to see what each would look like. In Java Edition, the mansion actually finished generating, which I didn't even know could happen. And in Bedrock... Oh no, I see it already. Oh <laughs> no, it looks awful. Yeah, unlike Java Edition, Bedrock Edition chunk blending will smear into the old chunks, causing this legitimately disgusting effect. Chunk blending in general looks much more unnatural on Bedrock than it does on Java. This is a problem that Mojang very, very specifically said within a video of theirs would not happen. Are you starting to see the problem here? Here's another issue. In Minecraft Bedrock 1.18, mountain biomes will not properly generate at all beyond about 2.8 million blocks. Seriously, try it. Open up Bedrock Edition, teleport to these coordinates, and look for a cold mountain biome. If you're playing on desktop versions, you'll see a giant hole in the ground where the mountain should be, and if you're on an iPhone or possibly other Bedrock versions, you might see an enormous monolith instead. This distance might be far beyond where the average player will ever venture to on foot, but Bedrock Edition issues like this fly in the face of how Mojang handled these things with Java Edition. Remember, Minecraft Java is to Stockholm as Minecraft Bedrock is to Redmond. Within Minecraft Java, Mojang have made a very specific effort to fix even the most minor of world distance related issues all the way out to its 30 million block world border. It's backwards. Is Java Edition getting special treatment here? or is Bedrock Edition getting crappy treatment? I get that there are probably very legitimate and technical reasons for why these issues plague Bedrock Edition, but if Genshin Impact can absolutely triumph on multiple platforms, so can a voxel game about blocks. And no, Genshin did not pay me to say that part. Let's talk about the Minecraft marketplace for a moment, as it does relate to what I have to say later. For as many negative things as people have to say about the marketplace, Honestly, it really isn't that horrible for what it aims to be. I can choose which kind of item that I want to search for, such as skin packs, worlds, texture packs, etc. I can see what items are hot right now, and I can click on any given individual item to get more information. It works, even if it does look a little clickbait. My first minor problem is that clicking the button that displays how much this item costs in mine coins will automatically purchase that item without warning. If you do accidentally buy something, you cannot get a refund for it, according to Mojang's refund policy. I don't know about you, but it feels kind of wrong that there's absolutely no confirmation screen for marketplace purchases. Here's another item. Do a search for Dream on the marketplace and see what comes up. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. I inquired with Dream if he gave permission to any of these marketplace partners for any of these items, and he told me simply, no, I didn't. I don't know about you, but something about charging money to use somebody else's name and likeness without their permission feels entirely wrong. I've made videos on a few nefarious marketplace partners in recent memory, so this doesn't really surprise me at all. Thankfully, even on phones, as you're seeing right now, it's entirely possible to import Minecraft maps and resource packs to enjoy for free, even if it does limit you to items that are not on the marketplace. The next part of the video that you're about to watch is why this video is a month late for me. I've had to think of how best to talk about a version of Minecraft that the public does not have access to, but a lot has happened within the past month, so it's time that I get into it. The footage that I'll be using comes from Element X and the videos that he produced a few months ago about Developer Edition. These videos, posted months ago, still exist on YouTube today, and none of what I'll be talking about is secret information. Back in October of 2021, I became aware of a version of Minecraft that has since been dubbed Minecraft Developer Edition. 
This is a version of Minecraft that two marketplace partners have told me that they have access to in order to make their creations. This version of Minecraft contains the Java Edition style F3 menu, some really awesome entity manipulation commands, and a whole slew of debug features that allow for you to create and test basically any scenario that you might need to test if you were making content for the marketplace. You see, I need to be fair and say that I do not mind that this version of Minecraft exists at all. I love it. It's a shame that many of these unique features are not accessible to the general public, but if Mojang wants to develop a version just for their marketplace partners, that's their prerogative. The Minecraft marketplace has a giant colorful button on Minecraft's home screen, and the marketplace makes Mojang a lot of money. So it would make sense that Mojang might provide these partners with a version of the game that helps them all make more money, more faster. But from time to time, it appears as if this version may also contain features that are slated to become a part of the main game, but are just not available to the public yet. The only proof of this that I can share comes again from Element X, who made a video about the previously upcoming Firefly mob, which existed within a new build of Developer Edition. That video received a copyright strike by Mojang after Element X had set the video to private. Mojang wanted the video deleted, not privated. You know Mojang, you could have just emailed him again telling him that setting it to private wasn't enough. The first video that Tantalus C released about Developer Edition also got a strike as well. He's my original point of contact for the leak. In fairness to Mojang, Tantalus's video did explicitly provide a link to download Developer Edition, so I could understand why Mojang would want it taken down. Linking out to modern versions of Minecraft that circumvent Mojang's authentication is against their terms of service, and I can only imagine the internal contracts that Mojang might have in order to protect themselves here. There's one term that I can think of, and it's called an embargo. In fairness to Tantalus though, Mojang's initial reasoning for the strike was that Tantalus used a song that Microsoft don't even own the rights for, and that he didn't even use within the video in question. Whether or not that was legally the right move is something that I'll leave for qualified individuals to discuss. I asked Mojang for a comment on this, and their response is as follows. That strike happened a long time ago, and once the error was realized, it was reversed. Someone on the team made a mistake, it was corrected, and the process worked the way it should have. It was unfortunate. So, let me get all of this straight. Mojang privately develop a version of Minecraft that's meant to be kept a secret from the general public. Okay. Then Mojang gives these versions to marketplace partners, wherein an unfortunate few lie, steal, and cheat the system in order to gain a profit, and Mojang somehow expected that version to not get leaked to the public when considering that nefarious marketplace partners exist? Okay, okay, get this. Mojang then, in their infinite wisdom, knowing that these versions were getting leaked to the public, decided to add the Firefly to Developer Edition anyways, and then Developer Edition leaked again, and then they copyright strike Element X's video about it? Like, Mojang, are you kidding me? If you haven't fixed your leak yet, then you're just turning a blind eye to the real problem. Maybe you should instead focus your efforts on fixing your leaks. Maybe you should make an effort to fix these very fixable glitches within Bedrock Edition that really hinder from the experience, some of which have been around for years now. Where are the friends lists? Why does the Essential mod have you guys beat on this? By the way, paid plug, check out my full body antsuit within the Essential mod if you check it out. Anyways, Mojang, I hope that you're not surprised that people are upset with you when you actually say concept art is not a commitment when referencing why the new birch forests were removed from 1.19. People were looking forward to this, and it hurt to see yet another Minecraft update getting broken up. Judging by the estimated dislikes on that video, this announcement did not go over well for you. Mojang, is this just the tip of the iceberg, or are you going to do better? Well, the very day that I finished this video, Mojang combined Java Edition and Bedrock Edition into a package purchase, so that $30 USD gets you both versions now. You know Mojang, you're alright. Just clean up Bedrock Edition, huh? What do you think, everybody? That just about does it for me. Links in the description, and thanks for watching.